Hello everyone, it's Bruce from an Aerial Viewpoint and today is day 23 of the Ballville Dam removal and there really is no Ballville Dam anymore. A uh, little bit of concrete that uh, the hydraulic hammer is chipping away right now there. Uh, they're cleaning up uh, the rubble with the buckets and then they also have over here is a grinder so it looks like they're gonna to grind down that last layer or do something with it uh, they're getting a lot of mud coming down so they've got uh, one of the buckets kind of cleaning up this mud a little bit I'm not sure what they're going to do with it I don't see a truck coming over to load it into so I imagine they're waiting for a little more rain to wash this stuff uh, or wash this stuff all down since people keep making fun of my Ohio accent. Uh, pretty well have everything cleaned and I know we are waiting toward the end of the week we're going to have some experts coming to tell us what we can, uh, how they uh, they want to lay out the gravel and up and downstream conditions. So, uh, but it does look like they've just about got this down, cleaned up the way they want it. Upstream here, it's uh, still cutting away at the mud and uh, our little river here is getting deeper and deeper as far as cutting through the mud. They aren't working today on that upper flood wall. It looks like they've got that broken down as far as they're going to do for a little bit. Let me be careful of my high tension wires here. Get up and over them and we'll take a run upstream. Since we had a little bit of rain the last few days, I see a little more water here. It is cutting into the mud and probably sending a little bit more of the mud downstream. I don't see our eagles today, so that's a good thing for me, flying the drone. We're up to Lutz School here. There's our little narrow spot here. And then she widens back out to uh, almost the normal width of the river. I'm interested to see if this stays this way or eventually narrows up in here also. I am going to try to talk to some of these uh, ecologists when they come in and try to get an idea of what the, they think this river is going to do when it gets back to its natural state. There's our reservoir head. And looks kind of watching my signal here and making sure I still got a good eyeball on the drone. like to get up to the reservoir but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it today. My eyesight's not quite as good. It's a beautiful day out but it is muggy but there's no wind. At least get a peek down make sure there's good water going in to the reservoir and I do see open water going all the way into the intake. So nothing's changed down here or up here I should say since it's upstream. It does look like I had something in there maybe cleaning that out a little bit. I see tracks. And we will 
make a jump here to downstream to the hydro or the haunted hydro I should say and there's that little island of stone right out from it and we're gonna head back to the dam I do notice the water here is a little bit muddy so that that sediment is working its way down and I imagine it'll eventually end up down at the lake. I have talked to a couple ODNR people that were in watching yesterday and they said that they heard that this sediment has no problems and it will just uh, head all the way down and end up in the lake eventually. And here we're back at the dam. A little muddier here. And we will be back here again tomorrow. And I'm hoping we see some demolition of the pump house pretty soon. There's a high shot of the mud, mud and silt that's coming down. little less equipment here today like I said it's kinda I'm sure they're waiting for the day they start tearing that pump house down to bring in the full crew again and we'll see everybody tomorrow and see if there's new changes